Hello guys, it's Deep Shaw over here and today I'm going to show you how to create this threshold logo design from portrait photo in Photoshop. Also if you want to learn how to create such cool effects using Photoshop then hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So the first step over here is we need to remove the background in the image and only keep the model. So for that select quick selection tool. And then using quick selection tool select the model in the image. You can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square brackets of your keyboard. Now after the selection is complete, click on refine edge. After that using the brush hover over the edges to get a smooth selection of the edge. So as you can see the edges now look smooth, after that click on OK. Now once the selection is complete, press Ctrl plus J to create a duplicate of the selection into a new layer. Now after that hide the background layer. So now as you can see we don't have background anymore and only model is there. So now we need to convert this model image into a threshold image. So for that go to image and then adjustment and then select threshold over there. Now set the threshold level accordingly so that all the details of the model image are clearly visible. So for me 120 threshold level is perfect. After that click on OK. Now we need to remove the white portion of the image and only keep the black portion of it. So for that go to select and then click on color range over there. After that using dropper tool click on the white color in the image which will give you the selection of all the white colors in the image. After that set the fuzziness accordingly and then click on OK. So now once the selection is complete press the delete key of your keyboard to remove the selection and fill it with a transparent layer. After that press Ctrl plus D to deselect the selection. So as you can see only the black portion of the image is visible and all the white portion has been gone. Now I am filling the background with a nice gradient color over here so that all the edits are clearly visible. Note that this step is not compulsory as we only need the threshold logo with a transparent background. So I am setting the foreground color as white and background color as some blue color. After that go to create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select gradient over there. Then set the gradient as foreground to background. Then set the style as radial. Scale it to 300% and then click on OK. Now bring the gradient layer below the model threshold layer. Now we need to scale down the model threshold image over here. So for that make the model threshold image layer active by clicking on it. And then press Ctrl plus T and then drag from corner as follows while dragging press shift to scale down evenly. So this size looks good for now. After that place it properly. And then click on the stick icon to place it. Now we need to add circle around this model image over here. So for that select ellipse tool. And then set the fill as no color. Set the stroke color as black. And then set the size of the stroke as 15 point. And then press shift and drag it as follows. By pressing shift you get a circle. After that using move tool place it properly. So this looks good now. So now we need to remove the extra model threshold image outside of the circle. So for that make the model threshold image layer active by clicking on it. And then click on add layer mask icon. After that select brush tool. And then select brush as hard round. 
and then set the foreground color as black. After that using brush tool hover over the extra model part of the image which you want to remove. Zooming in to remove carefully from the edges. Now zooming out. So now as you can see we have the model threshold logo ready over here. So after that we need to merge the two layers that is the circle layer and the model layer into a single group. So for that press control and select the ellipse layer which will give you the selection of that ellipse layer as well as keep the selection of the model layer. After that press control plus G to merge the two layers into a single group. So now using move tool place it at the center. So now we need to add text and those lines outside of the text so for that select horizontal text tool and then select any font of your choice. After that set the appropriate font size and then set the color of the font as black. After that click on the document and type in your text. After that click on the stick icon to place it. Now using move tool place the text properly. After that we need to add lines outside of the text so for that select line tool and then set the fill as no color, set the stroke color as black and then set the size of the stroke as 10 points. After that click over here and then press shift and drag it as follows. By pressing shift you get a straight line. Now increase the height of the line to 10 pixels and then hit the enter key. After that using move tool place the line properly. Now we need to place the same line at the other side of the text so for that press ctrl plus j to create a duplicate of this line. After that using shift drag to the other side of the text as follows. By pressing shift it drags in a straight line. Now using left arrow key of your keyboard place it properly. Now we need to create two small standing lines over here as well. So for that again select the line tool. And then set the fill as no color, stroke color as black and point uh, and size of the stroke as 10. Now after that create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon and then click on the top part of the L and then press shift and drag it till the lower part of the L. Now increase the width of the line to 10 pixels. Then using move tool place it properly. Now we need to place the same line at the other side of the text so for that again press ctrl plus j to create a duplicate of it. Then you press shift and drag it as follows. Then place the line properly using the right arrow key of your keyboard. So now this looks proper and now we need to merge the text layer and the line layer into a single group. So for that press shift and select the text layer which will give you the selection of two layers as well as all the layers in between. After that press ctrl plus g to merge all the layers into a single group. So now the main part is over so now we need to save this logo as a transparent file. So for that hide the gradient layer by clicking on the eye icon. And then go to file and then click on save as over there. Now give any name for the file and then set the format of the file as PNG and then click on save. So this will save the logo with the transparent background. After that click on OK. To show you the effect of what we have just created, I am unhiding the background layer over here and hiding all the layers. After that bring in the PNG image which we have just saved right now. After that scale the logo and place it properly, while scaling press shift to scale evenly. 
सो दैट्स इट गाइज दिस विल गिव यूर थ्रेश होल्ड लोगो फ्रॉम पोर्ट्रेट इमेज इन फोटोशॉप नो इफ यू गाइज लाइक दिस वीडियो दैन हेट द लाइक बटन ऑल्सो शेयर इट टू द वन हू माइट बी इंटरेस्टेड इन सच वीडियोज एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोज इन फोटोशॉप थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग बाय